has got to go the length of the court with 2.5 left. Like long pass. Bill Jenkins shoots me from the win. Go! Homer Drew and his two sons have created a basketball coaching legacy. As Homer attests, Scott's decision to venture into the coaching world was definitely not expected. Scott attended Butler University and he was on track to become a lawyer. His senior year coming home at Christmas time, he says, Dad, I'd like to try coaching. My dad was the head coach, my brother was the assistant coach. Um, just really wanted the opportunity to play for my dad and play for my brother. In 2002, Scott took over the head coaching reins, leading Valpo to a conference championship. The head basketball coach at Baylor University, who is two weeks into his new position after 10 seasons at Valparaiso University, the last season as the head coach. Scott, welcome. And Scott, there's only one question we can possibly start with. Why would you take this job? <laughs> well, uh, maybe the Drew family loves a challenge. You're at the bottom of, of, a, of a tall hill, are you not? <laughs> We're definitely looking up. With the loss of players, how competitive can you be? We have seven staying, and when I asked them why'd you stay, they all said they stayed because they love Baylor, they love the people, and they wanted to play for the school. Are you going to have open tryouts? Oh, yes, we'll have open tryouts. How many, how many students have contacted your office about trying out? <laughs> well, well, there's 14,000 at Baylor <laughs> and about uh, 6,000 male, I believe, and we've had about 5,000 calls. <laughs> Your dad, Homer Drew, the Valpo coach, has been a college basketball coach his whole adult life. He knows what the good programs are, what the not-so-good programs are. When you said to him, I'm going to Baylor, what did he say to you? He said, read the book of Job. <laughs> because he knew it would take time and uh, uh, knew you would have to persevere. Since I've been here, I've not found a person that I have not liked. I mean, it's one of the nicest communities you could ever go to, and everybody's just excited to, uh, about moving on. I come from a land down under Where beaters flow, men chunder can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? You better run, you better take cover. We're going to raise the morale, get that band out, make them play the fight song. Not for the team, for the student body. I was interested in Baylor University, it was because of what the school stood for. Hey, but I got a sharp fuse, oh. don't snooze. Oh. Been handling the game so long, my thumbs bruise. Your new girlfriend is old news. You ain't got enough green and she's so blue. Oh. Get cash money, breakfast where dreams come true. Everything is easy, baby, leave it up to easy, baby. Put it in a pot, let it steam, let it brew. Yeah. Now watch your milk, don't burn yourself, girl. Fresh on campus is the Birdman Jr. Money too long, teachers put away the coolness. Cartoon, not a cartoon. No shirt, tattoos, and some wall boards. Yeah. Oh, a long three. Oh, and he hit a long oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. And the Banner Bears are the champions of the 2007 Paradise Jam. You can't get any more team than this. And you can't get any more family than this. Because I'm the five man. Oh. Yeah, the five truck.
we're going to do in 60 minutes with Texas A&M and Baylor couldn't. In a rivalry game, the Bears of Waco go down to College Station and they get 36 from Curtis Gerald's in the longest game in Big 12 history. Five different players fouled out. The second half was played with two referees. One was lost due to a pulled hamstring. Baylor's about to beat A&M at their own court. If only college kids got paid time and a half. College kids, really, they're not supposed to get paid, period. Oh. 69 fouls were called, eight fouled out. 116 points are the most by a team in the history of the Big 12 as the Bears from Waco knock off the Aggies in College Station. As Darius Dunn makes the three for the win. The Bears win it tonight in College Station. Baylor over A&M in five overtime. Said Gerald's afterwards, I'm tired. 53 minutes, 36 points will do that to a fellow. And with that, we bring in Sky Drew, the head coach of the Baylor Bears. What does it mean to Baylor and to you and your kids? <laughs> Just being there, you know, five years, he's taken a program from below ground level to uh, being ranked in the top 25 this year. He'll take a three right wing and he got it! Curtis Just five years ago, the Baylor University men's basketball program was devastated by a scandal which saw one of its players murder a teammate. The coach was fired, and the program faced major penalties. Scott Drew took over as head coach shortly thereafter and now has Baylor back in the NCAA tournament. Scott, what in the world was your plan to rebuild the program when you walk into something like this? Well, as you know, us coaches are only as good as our players. So the first thing is you got to bring in players. And obviously, like the Marines, we were looking for a few good men. And more importantly, they couldn't just be good players. They had to be high character kids because we wanted to make sure that we were building the program the right way. And that's what we've been fortunate enough to attract. Three seconds to go. He'll drive. He'll lay it up. It's partially blocked. Oh. It Rolls in. We're tied at 75. Baylor has so many great things to offer, and, and it's great to now make sure that the rest of the nation knows the positives about Baylor. Baylor has such an outstanding uh, reputation nationwide. We're the only private school in the Big 12. We have a great academic reputation. Baylor has a niche, great family atmosphere, the largest Baptist school in the nation. Geographically, we're close to Dallas, close to Austin, close to Houston, close to San Antonio, and great players want to stay close to home if they can. So we have a lot to sell and a lot, uh, a lot of positives to build on, and there's there's no doubt in my mind we can become an elite team in the nation. Let's go take this. What made you think you could win there? Because the team had only been in the NCAA like once in the last 58 years. Well, actually, we've been there twice in 58 years, so we're on a roll. I but, missed uh, I think 63 teams. They're already announced. There's only one slot left. What are you and your team thinking as you are sitting there watching? And especially toward that last pick. I mean, you couldn't write a better script knowing that you're in now. But at that particular time, I think you saw from the reaction, we by far and away had the best reaction to any team because uh, when you're the last team revealed, you're pretty excited to be in that tournament. I'm going to say a great word about you now. I've said on this show that I think you should be the unanimous coach of the year for what you've done at Baylor. Let's go!